Welcome back. You're watching Business Thursday. Let's take you uh, to a management uh, earnings call that we're doing with Anand Agarwal of uh, Sterlite Tech. Well, that's right. Of course, uh, we do have it. First on ET now, we have Anand Agarwal of Sterlite uh, Tech joining us uh, on the show. Of course, that's on the quarterly uh, result. He's director and CEO of the company. Afternoon to you, uh, Mr. Agarwal. Run us through your numbers. The stock is also uh, doing pretty well in trade, up 4%. Run us through your numbers. What largely were the revenue drivers? Of course, uh, you also have uh, shifted your business to the optical fiber business, which is a huge uh, margin driver. Run us through your uh, results and tell us uh, what's really looking up. Yes, only uh, the biggest driver has been, as you rightly said, uh, the fact that the mix of the business is changing more and more towards optical fiber which is uh, uh, the higher margin, the higher uh, uh, profitability business. And towards that, and that is how it is reflected in our uh, results both for the quarter and for the overall year. So while uh, revenues for the quarter have increased by about 15%, the profitability has increased by about 80% year on year. Uh, and the same is reflected also in the, our annual performance we are against uh, uh, net profits of about 90 crores that we had done last year. We are close to about uh, 246 crores for the current year. Right, Mr. Agarwal, also help us understand what your current order book size is and also can you give us a breakup in terms of the power and the telecom projects within that order book? Sure, yeah. Uh, the order book currently is about 2400 crores. Uh, this is against about 1350 crores what we had at this time last year. So we have added a significant amount of orders during the current year. And uh, power uh, business for, uh, from this is close to about 1800 crores and telecom is in the balance 600 crores. Oh, Lauren, uh, also in terms of uh, the current capacity as far as your optic fiber business is concerned, uh, run us through that. Uh, what is your expectation in uh, terms of the target capacity for FY11? Uh, sure. Uh, we are in the middle of uh, expanding our capacity from uh, 6 million to 12 million kilometers. Uh, so in FY11, we should be running pretty close to 12 million kilometers. Uh, we have further decided to increase that capacity to 20 million kilometers, which will make us... Uh, the third largest fiber manufacturer globally. This will come into play into FY12. So we have a pretty robust uh, organic growth pipeline in play, especially in optical fiber as well as in power conductors. And we believe the growth that we are seeing in both telecom and power infrastructure in the country should drive the kind of capacity that we are creating. Right, right, Mr. Agarwal, also you did mention that your current order book size is looking good, you are seeing robust demand, but help us understand where most of the demand is coming from and should we expect that more large orders are on their way? Uh, yes, George, a lot of uh, the demand that we are seeing is a translation of the spending that is happening in the power generation segment. So all the new power plants which are coming up in the country require strengthening of the transmission grid. And we are seeing the, uh, the, both the power grid corporation as well as the new uh, private trans, uh, the gen, uh, generation companies are coming up with new requirements for uh, transmission conductors, which is driving our power requirement. And with uh, big emphasis now on uh, propagation of broadband, we are seeing that telecom clients are also deploying more and more fiber to strengthen the network as well as to connect all their uh, towers and BTS. We believe with the 3G uh, option being over and 3G spectrum getting released, uh, there will be much more of uh, data usage uh, coming over the wireless segments which will require all towers in the country to be connected by fiber and we believe that is going to be a major impetus for the demand for fiber. Right. Uh, Mr. Agarwal, what about organic uh, growth? Are you looking at uh, any sort of acquisitions, uh, also a target in terms of your financial 11 uh, profits and revenues? Year on year it's grown about 15%. Uh, what about FY11? Uh, in organic options, we continue to look at if we find something interesting uh, from a market access perspective, uh, we'll definitely look at it, uh, but there's currently nothing on the handle. In terms of next year, uh, we believe there should be uh, at least 30% uh, top line growth and uh, uh, we have done close to about uh, 400 crores of EBITDA so the uh, guideline for next year is between 520 to 540 crores of EBITDA for next year.
Right, and also, Mr. Agarwal, just one very quick question uh, before we let you go. Your, your numbers are looking very good. You are expecting very robust growth going forward as well. Any fundraising plans? Uh, nothing currently for the current plans. If something uh, new comes up uh, later on, we'll review it. But uh, we are pretty well funded for the current expansion plans. All right, Mr. Agarwal, many thanks uh, for joining us on the show with your outlook for FY11 as well as uh, the quarter gone by results for the full year as well. Sterling Tech is a stock doing rather well in trade. Uh, post those results also you've seen that spike 4.6% of a uh, spurt on that counter. 15% growth in terms of revenues year on year for Sterlite Technologies. Uh, well of course let's uh, bring in Nikun Jadar. We're going to take a very quick break but when we come back we've got, we've got more details on the global markets, the commodity markets and even an update on the IPS.